Okay, getting all set up here. Um, <clears throat> testing one, two. Testing one, two. Can you all hear me? Okay. Um, what I'll be going through is installing the Play uh, 1.0 version, but there are some caveats to getting started on that. Um, when I first, first, the first prerequisite is at least having a, in my case, a Sesto Senso version too. And um, the version that I had, it was like at 1.10 or something to that effect. And you couldn't just launch play to go from there. You have to be at a minimum of uh, 1.3. And doing so, um, for the 1.3, you go for the README, I upgraded to 1.3. And, uh, and then after that, for my Sesto Senso 2, I went to 3.0, go into this folder here, and updated the firmware for that. And you can see here, play is added for support. As of this latest version, 3.0, 19, uh, 12, 20, 20, 2021. And then once you, go, once you updated that, I mean, uh, this is me, because I, I don't like updating firmware, because if it works, it works. but. In order for me to use Play, I had to upgrade uh, my Sesto Senso because once you start using the Play 1.0, you're no longer going to be using the Focus Manager anymore. This is right here. The Sesto Senso software is for Generation 1, and uh, it doesn't have the Arco support plugin for it, but uh, I will no longer be using this. Uh, once you install Play, you'll get this screen at launch. You're going to go into Setup. Hello, astronomers! This 1.0 um, is limited for right now. It's okay. Um, you'll be presented with four options. I, I only have three for right now minus the eagle option there before I can go on to the step three here for the universe exploration. So either you can customize your items what you have or by double clicking on the highlighted items here. So for OTA I can click here or I can double click the OTA here. Don't make a liar out of me. So okay double click there and I have a Richie Crichton and the diameter is not 8 inch, it's a 6 inch Orion Richie Crichton 6 and that'll be 150 millimeters and the focal length is 1350. Alright, so I'm going to hit save. Beautiful, I love it. And the mount, I can click here or I can click here, I just click the mount. I have a sky watcher and I'm going to say... Uh, EQ, I'm using EQ mod ASCOM HEQ56. I'll click there. Then I'll click the link button. It says links. And then it, it'll launch my EQ mod here. And you can see now, um, prior to starting this program, I could have sworn I parked it, but I guess I must have unparked it once I linked it. And I'm going to hit save. Right. Okay, I'm going to minimize that. And I'm going to go to the focuser. The focuser is on COM4. I'm going to hit link. Now, because I had to upgrade from, from dead zero, 1.0 uh, to 1.3, once you launch this and connect it to your COM4, Sesto Sensor 2 is is um, is upgraded by this play version 1.0 and it does it automatically it tells you to unplug it once it's done and plug it back in I waited about a minute before plugging everything back in and um, it didn't lose my previous settings wherever it was on the stepping I was like at 46 200 it kept it I thought I would have to go out that go outside and recalibrate again but I don't because I, I, you know, I don't need to. So we can ignore that. And under advanced setting is how fast 
how much you want to step your focusing motor. I like to keep it on default for slow. And I'm just going to hit save. And once this is done, you're allowed to go on to step three. Now, because we don't have a camera or filter wheel in this version yet, I'm going to have to substitute it by using another application called SharpCap. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it has, I think it has plate solving, but I'm pretty sure this will have plate solving. Here you can see that um, uh, the step, the focuser is recognizing that I can jump from there 40, from 46200. I'm going to go. And you can see it's moving. And it tells me in the version and my serial number there. That's mine. And once that's done, I'm going to take it back to 46200 because that's where my focus point is when I start. So I'm going to do 46, back to 46200. I'm going to hit go. So I'm already connected already. So I'm going to go to target. Okay, so what's a zenith to me right now is just past the Western Meridian line. And I'm going to go to the Iris Nimble at NGC 7023. Let me minimize this box here and bring this up. Now, I, I could have sworn this was part, but oh well. So I'm going to say go to, and we're going to see if it moves to, uh, to NGC 7023 to IRSM. Go. And there it goes. It is moving my mount here as you can see so okay when it's done hey Prime Lucci, how do I park my mount can I park my mount within your application I guess not yet but I, I don't mind I can just do it from right here so next I'm presented with this window here it says you know update field of view I click that I'm guessing the white box is the size of the target, and this is my field of view calculating from my from my camera. I, I don't know. Um, my pixel size is 4.8. I guess I'm supposed to plug all this in, but I'm just, uh, since they don't have camera sensor availability yet, I'm I'm only good to hear, and I would have to go onto Sharp Cap. So far, I, I like where it's going. But once they start to get into the camera and you know, filter wheel and auto guider, um, and you know, once we can go into step three and step four, I should be able to click this, and uh, we should be good to go. Even though I don't have an Eagle product, believe me, I wish I had one. So that's as far as I can go. You're gonna have to leave this running, and then leave this up and launch individually your PhD and then in, or your sharp cap. So that's launched and you have to connect it. Or since they're both ASCOM drivers, they can still share the same API um, with Nina. So I'll just launch Nina. And all I got to do is just connect my camera and I think they can share the same mount. I think so. So if I go into, uh, can I, since my mount is on, can I connect to it? I believe so. And here you see I'm connected. Uh, there's my RA. And it, yeah, so I'm not parked. If I want to go to my camera, I go to my camera, I can hit connect there and yeah, but it's kind of cheating. Um, I do. I love Nina. I, I love it. It's fantastic. And then, uh, but uh, also, unlike Prime Lucci Lab, where they're going with their product here with the Play 1.0. So that's all I have. With the 1.0, you're just limited to slewing. You can't park. And you're going to have to use some other side application to complement it. Um, but. Uh, Thanks for tuning in, and I wish you all clear skies and a Merry Christmas. It is Christmas Eve, and we're about to have dinner, and uh, stay warm, be safe. Clear skies.